So, you want to get motion blur on your Blender render, but you want to do it faster and in post with full control. Let's get it done. So here in Blender, you can see this is my scene. I'll kind of just thumb through real quick. I have some pills. It's a pill simulation that's kind of rotating around. And normally, to render out motion blur, you would go right here, which is the Rendered Properties tab. And then you would go to Motion Blur, and you would enable that. And this is your shutter, so you can adjust this for different shutter. 0.5 would be 180 degree shutter, which is normally what you want to do. The problem is if you render it like this, you're going to actually bake this in and you're not going to be able to change it later. And it's going to be slow because you're doing it actually in Blender or any other 3D program. So I'll show you to do it faster in After Effects. Okay, so now we're in After Effects. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in RSMB. It stands for Real Smart Motion Blur. This is a third party effect, so you do need to buy it. It's much better than the CC Force Motion Blur that comes with After Effects. And you're going to put it actually on your actual render layer. And you see, as soon as it goes on, let me actually, let's see, on, off. These pills aren't moving a whole lot, so there's not a lot of blur. I'll exaggerate it real quick. I'll turn my blur amount way up. I'm also going to turn off my depth of field just so we can work a little bit faster here. And you can see it's exaggerating the effect because I have it, the blur is so high. It analyzes every pixel and puts accurate motion blur, and this render is extremely fast. It's definitely worth it. I generally leave it at the 0.5, which would be the 180 degree shutter rule, which is a real life camera, which is you want to emulate. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe. And if you didn't like this video, hit this like button twice and I'll see you around.